hello 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 right i'm gonna uh i'm gonna just wait for people just for a minute um i did mention literally probably like i think it was george ross's video earlier i mentioned um why does youtube tell me that i'm live on my own channel that is so random now live on your channel i know i am <laughs> i'm here look no, I can't even see that, but literally get an email from, from YouTube to tell me that I am live. Um, then, yeah, that makes that makes sense. Now my dad's just texting me. And then I'll stop being so rude. <laughs> there we go. We're getting people in now. Hello, hello. right okay this is oh that's what i closed we were close i think earlier okay I'm also trying to get it open on my computer so i can see um the chat because the uh, stream that chat's a bit rubbish isn't it oh It's going to be good for my internet. Um, there we go. Oh, there we go. Okie dokie. Yeah, I think I want to turn that off. Can I turn that off? Mm, I don't like StreamYard. Um, right, okay. Oh yeah, hello, <laughs> hello, hello. I'll actually start the uh, the, the stream now from like you know, two minutes in, two minutes in, and I'll actually he say hello. Um, as as always, we've got Andrew in. Hello, Andrew. Um, Raj Pommy Pickers. Hello, Real of Reseller. I don't know your name, um, Real of Reseller. So if you let me know your name, then I can actually stop calling you just Real of. <laughs> Tommy, hello. Um, Ian says hello. Uh, is this for you, new American viewers? Yes. Uh, yesterday um, on Tracy's channel um, from Uniquely Me. If you don't know who she is, go subscribe to her. Um, and Tommy Bernard in the chat as well. He does um, videos with Tracy as well. Um, so uh, Tracy was on with Andrew yesterday, and Andrew decided to uh, nicely promote me on his. Uh, on her channel um, accidentally I believe I don't know I was busy watching stuff on the telly and then all of a sudden I had these million emails coming through from loads of new subscribers so uh, thank you very much to everybody who subscribed yesterday and um, that was a big <laughs> big shock um, who else have we got in the glitter sunflower I don't think I've seen you around I mean I've not been on live chats and stuff for a little while now so um, that might be uh, because of that um i haven't even got the chat open don't get on this channel just saying what about casey cooks uh love your accent where are you from <laughs> i am from birmingham um so that's uh i've never had anyone tell me that they love my accent before because that's um that's a bit of a shock uh new to your channel so i subscribe to you hello nutty pro Reese, nutty pro seller hello hello I was going to call you like Nutella, kind of smush your name together. Sounds like Nutella. Um, good evening, Sail Away 1975. Hi, Richard Martina. Okay, I will try and remember that. I will try and remember that. See, look, Ian just called you real love. You know, that's what happens. Um, uh, who else have we got? Um, ah, there's Tracy. Hello, Tracy. So there's Tracy, uniquely me. Um, she uh th that's whose channel andrew was on yesterday um and then yeah all these new subscribers hello hello uh gary hello and i think that's it i think we've calmed down now from all these new people coming in super duper okay so um i am just i think it's plan um, no, oh not too, yeah that's fair enough not too, oh not too pro so it's 11 o'clock like actually did on 11 o'clock now so um 
you know, ignore me for any anything that just comes out of my mouth tonight. Just just ignore me. Um, and my hair, it's raining something rotten today, so my hair's just gone all. Um, I've actually, you know what, I've got up the streamyard chat and the YouTube side chat. The YouTube side chat's going really quick. Yeah, I'm still looking at the streamyard chat. Question: Are you going to fail? A say just just ignore the words that gone on. Are you going to fall over and live on YouTube? I hope it's the hardest thing to do. Um, no. Well, I, but I can't promise that I might do. Um, my floor is pretty messy. Um, but you know, you don't get to see that on YouTube because it all looks very pretty and look how amazing everything is. But there's lots and lots of crap on the floor. Um, introduce yourself and your story to America. Uh, my name is Louise. Um, I probably didn't even say that at the, the video, did I? My name is Louise. I am an eBay reseller. I sell clothes on eBay, mostly 99% of the stuff I sell on eBay's clothes. Um, so I do sell some plushies, but very rarely. Um, what else do I sell? That's it, really. I don't think I really sell much else on eBay. So it's mostly, mostly clothing. Um, I used to do it all for my bedroom. I then um, managed to clear out the garage and put all my stuff in the garage and use that garage as my um, photograph and storage and all that sort of stuff. Um, so, yeah, um, that's that's who I am. Have any other questions? Just just let me know because I don't know what else to tell you. Um, I'm sure I will be on Tommy's channel at some point. Um, or Tracy's channel at some point. Um, so any of you there who um, missed this chat or whatever, then I'll be over there at some point, I'm sure. I'm sure I will. I'm just going to close this YouTube chat because it's been made in. The StreamYard one's not too slow. It's all right. It's all right. It will do. Um, where are we? Ooh. So I'm just reading the chat. <laughs> It's in the video. Uh, yeah, if you join uh, the Money Mental Reselling Group on Facebook, um, a little primo there for you, Andrew. Um, I think Carbert Chris has pinned it to the top, or it was pinned to the top at some point. So it, it's on there. You can see it. He's nicely uh, trimmed that for you. Um, do, 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 do. Have I told you that you're doing the origami challenge? Why am I doing the origami challenge? And how am I going to do this origami challenge? Um, how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? You never ask a woman her age. However, whatever, um, I am 25. Um, 25, I am 25. Uh, how long full time? And we warned Andrew, he can't beat you for obvious reasons. <laughs> I did see that yesterday, Tommy. Um, okay, yeah, text me in a bit. Andrew. Um, I have been full-time uh, since January. Um, I quit my job in December and um, and yeah and, uh, and yeah it was full-time since uh, since January. So I say full-time I kind of it was like full-time from January to like April kind of time and then I started to like dabble in other little bits and bobs um, working bits for my dad and things like that so it's kind of just doing a number of things you know multiple incomes and things like that so just doing a little bits and bobs I just need to pull this chair up it's not going up any higher I don't want to put my camera down because I think you'll see the mess that's on my floor <laughs> oh, let's try this yeah look at that no nah. <laughs> nah, it's too much mess on the floor I think uh, I do actually have a haul for you by the way because I did actually go shopping today and I do have oh, a bag full of stuff that I will show you eventually once you've all stopped nattering, nattering all that and nattering. Ian, can you ask a clothing question? You certainly can. Um, you've also gone full time. Oh, that just jumped. Uh, Naughty Pro Seller, you've also gone to full time. Awesome. It is, it is so much fun. Um, however, it can also be stressful with thinking. Um, I've got to uh, manage to find that money, and you know, you're not going to get that definite income. Um, so where is everybody from? Um, I know a lot of you are from England, Wales, Scotland, 
Um, I think some of you from America. I know Rod is from Australia. <laughs> I'm not going to try and do an accent. That was terrible, wasn't it? That was really bad. Um, get to spend more time with my friends. I love cats. Oh, I wish I had a cat. Um, I did have a cat, but it's, I, don't have, I no longer have a cat. Um, <laughs> Manchester. Two from Manchester straight away. From Stoke, not too far from me. Um, Stoke, Stoke on Trent, I assume. Uh, Lancashire. Hi, Peter. Hi, Peter. Essex, all the way down. Yeah, Stoke on Trent, super duper. Ooh. Ooh. Has clothing slowed down in the UK as long as people like Andrew keep buying all the clothes? <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't think it has. I think it, I think with clothing, it kind of just it's just a steady thing because everyone always needs clothes you know so it's kind of like it's just it's just a steady thing uh scarborough all the way up north in scarborough uh epson in sorry so you're a southerner yeah i did ask you that the other day didn't i peter um whereabouts you're from because i couldn't remember um yeah I, that's kind of where i used to live around there when i was like this big um and then moved up here question how long before you get bored and put me on the live stream um anyway next question uh best country in the world ever yorkshire cow country i read that's country <laughs> need to go to pit right anyway i'm gonna let, carry on letting you uh tell me where you're all from I'll drop my pin on the floor uh you've barred andrew after the raffle shenanigan. Yeah, I just I had a glance at George's raffle. Uh that sounded wrong. <laughs> at George's raffle video. And uh and yeah, I saw that you won Andrew. Well done. Um Hi Double Karma and Jennifer. I don't think I said hello to Jennifer. I do apologize. And sorry if I didn't uh, say hello to other people that have entered. I'm trying to keep up, but you're going so quickly. Okay, right. Oh, my mouse has gone somewhere for me. Okay, so I'm just going to do you a super duper quick haul Ooh, of what I've got in here. And um, this is all from one shop. That was really loud. This is all from one shop that I got today. Um, so I'm just going to show you what I bought. And then if you want to ask any other questions, then I'll carry on. I don't want it to be a really, really long one um, because I'm tired. It's been a long day. Um, so it's going to be really, really cool. I know I haven't done um, a video in ages. <laughs> My brain's not working. You know what, I'll help. Good cup of tea. Drink this tea away from these clothes. That would be a disaster. It'd probably be worse than one go over on YouTube or something like that. Wouldn't it? Hi, David. Yeah, David's from Scotland. Um, I knew some people were from Scotland. Okay, yeah, I'm going to do, do this haul for you. Um, as I picked this all up today from one shop... I've been cheesing grapes right now. You know what? You're so cool. <laughs> cheesing grapes. You know what? Brie. Brie and grapes. That's brie and grape panini. That's good. That's some good stuff. Um, first thing I picked up is a coat. Um, I'm, I pick up quite a lot of coats. I've got a lot of coats uh, in my storage. God, That's why I choose my leader. My leader, Turbo Smart. The microfibers remove the dirt. My telly's just turned on. I don't know where my lamp is. If it works for us, it works for you. Why is my telly on? In real life? You can prop. <laughs> that was a good quality live stream, that was, wasn't it? <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Um, is this a regular night, like not thing just to wind Andrew up? No. Oh man, I'm gonna sneeze. This is not. This is not a good, um, <laughs> good live stream so far, is it? Absolute mess. Oh, right. Peter Ray has a question. Is this a regular night? I've just read that question. I'm gonna say that Ian has a has a question. I have a three quarter. 
ladies winter coat big button size 16 but not many comps on the brand equation equation cost me one pound 25 um what i do with coats have a look at the um material have a look at the material of the coat because if it is wool or possibly even a bit of cashmere in it or something like that maybe that might add to your listing um so don't sort of like delve on the fact that it's a particular brand more delve on the fact that it is made of this particular thing or you know really mention more features about the coat rather than trying to mention it is this particular brand i'm not saying don't mention that you know but if you're not too if you're thinking the brand's not going to sell it pick out features that will sell it so um i say some of the good uh features of it so i say buttons pockets um, you know it's gonna have some sort of fastening isn't it uh, but like whether it's made out of wool or whether it's made or whether it's long you know is it, is it uh, hip length is it knee length whatever full length um so i've never heard of that uh that brand um but yeah but still again put them key words in winter etc um trying to catch up with the chat again hi yes lab media hello hello This is why you need me and Cory on the live streams with you. Speaking of which, I don't know where Cory is. Cory fell off the face of the earth. Um, hi, KLC. Louise, top clothes reseller and everyone. <laughs> That's me. That's me. It's not me. Okay. Um, okay. First thing, uh, this Jacquefort coat. Um, yeah, I like to pick up coats throughout the year. And I do sell a few coats throughout the year. Um but you know it's getting colder now so i'm actually allowed to buy coats uh it's just a oh god i haven't done a whole video in ages absolutely ages um yeah it's a i think it is the label says it's a size 14. let's have a look um nice coat and brand it is a nice coat let's have a look um it is a 14 so this one here is it says virgin wool 60 percent virgin wool 20 percent cashmere um 20 percent poly made poly made i've never heard how to pronounce that that way <laughs> i promise i'm not drunk that's terrible you can't read that just take my word for it um size 14 it will do up i don't know why i'm trying it on but it will do up at the front like that Ta -da. um but it will go see this is the good thing with trying the coats on or, tr or at least sort of putting them on because i mean you can't see this at all but you can sort of see how far it goes so it's kind of like a knee length coat um it's quite cozy actually <laughs> oh god yeah so it's kind of like a knee length coat and as i say it's got cashmere in it as well so like i said to you earlier ian um if it's got stuff like that in if it's like cashmere or wool or something just mention because some coats are like 100 percent wool so again mention that um if it needs to so i've paid five pound for that coat um gonna probably put it up for like 30 40 pound maybe again haven't checked comps I'm literally just getting out of the bag now this one um hang on hang on hang on i feel like i'm going too quickly and not listening to the chat uh, 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 uh. is that bracelet on your right a pandora charm one it certainly is these are all my pandora charms um um apparently i'm up for this origami challenge um so yeah apparently whatever whatever I'll, I'll beat you at anything andrew beat you at anything um this one is a roman dress again with a size 14 it cost me a grand old four pound um it's uh i don't know what to what to say about it to be honest um so it's like silk thing here it's got quite a nice little buckly thing here um it's like sort of a sheer chiffony sort of dress um absolutely fantastic and roman sells pretty well for me um so four pound into maybe about 20 pound possibly 
just dumping it here and turn around somebody. Will you be getting the new Pandora Harry Potter chance this Christmas? No. Um, I'm not into my Harry Potter, to be honest. Um, so, no, I probably won't. I'm more Disney. I mean, my my charms, um, those pink and yellow ones there, that's Belle's dress and then Aurora's dress. Um, and then little teapot in the middle, um, Mrs. Potts. So I'm more into my uh, Disney charms than uh, anything else. Uh, you're not Louise, Andrew is. He's trying to cheat as he hasn't a clue what to do. I'm confused. <laughs> confused. I am confused. I am confused. Okay, so um, I can carry on now. I can carry on. I can carry on. Not with it today at all. Another coat. Another coat. Another coat. Another coat. Uh, this one is Winsmore coat. Um, I've sold Winsmore before. Um, some really big and decent coats. I picked this up for six pound. Paid a little bit more for it. Um, it says it's a size 12. Uh, it's got this lovely fur collar. Hello to Aussie thrifters. Is it Brad? It is Brad, isn't it? I'm trying to remember everybody. Um, yeah, so it's a Winsmore coat. Um, let me see. I think. I'm trying to look at this. I'm trying to like catch up. I'm trying to catch up with the chat and do this at the same time. It is 75% wool, 15% polyamide. I don't know what that is. 10% um, Angora as well. So. Um, yeah, it's really nice, really nice wintery thing. Uh, so yeah, if it's up for six, probably could sell it for about, again, 30 quid maybe, something like that. I'm not quite sure. Um, you lot are just waffling on your own little world, aren't you? So, next one is this. I don't know what this is. I literally just picked loads of stuff up today. It is an MS dress. I picked it up for £1.50. Um, I like to show you the tag in case you don't believe me. <laughs> it's a size 18. Um, yeah. It's a MS wrap dress. Uh, I'm trying to do it that way around. It's, just, it's not. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. One day I will do a video that's not going to be an absolute shambles like this one is. So to all them people who subscribed to me yesterday, I do apologise. My videos aren't usually this bad. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't even figure out what this is doing. But it's a wrap dress, basically. Um, that goes around the front. Um, I thought it was a really, really pretty dress, actually. Um, looks really, really good condition for £1.50 from M&S. Uh, could probably get about 15 20 pound something like that along those lines maybe um so i've got some elbow grease are you, are you use on your clothes oh i felt like i sounded australian then did i sound australian i probably didn't do did i all you australians there going you sounded nothing like us <laughs> Ah, you missed my garage videos. So organised. Um, yeah, I don't even know. You know, what? I, I think I did say this a little while ago. Um, I have done a video which I filmed about a week or so ago and it didn't film correctly. So I need to sort that all out. Um, oh, do I sell men's clothes? I do sell men's clothes. Um, I sold a men's shirt today. It's generally, yeah, just I like to look at jeans. Jeans is my main thing I like to look at for men's. Um, I do sell ties, um, a pro pro tie seller here. Um, and uh, men's shirts, jumpers. Um, that's 
yeah, whatever. Any any sort of men's stuff, I'm absolutely fine for that. Um, your videos are awesome, even the hat one. Thank you very much. Um, I've tried, the thing is with like hats and stuff like that, they've kind of just disappeared off the shelves because obviously wedding season's gone. But I'm trying to like go into a couple of charity shops and sort of say like, if you've still got them, you know, I'm still looking at them and stuff like that. So, you know, because they're quite big and I would, you know, they take up storage space in the back. So if they want to want to get rid of them, you know, might be able to um might be able to get them from them. Okay, next one is God, this dress. I don't mind picking this up. Hi Adrian. Hello, hello, hello. I feel like I've missed something. I feel like I've missed something. What have I missed? You're doing fine anyway, Louise. I'm soaking up the clothing ledge. I'm sure you are. Clothing? How are you spelling clothing there, Andrew? Sort yourself out. You're always slagging me off for spelling mistakes before. You have nothing to say. Um, Kelsey's link got accidentally dropped in various chats around the world. <laughs> It was funny yesterday, to be honest. It was funny. Hi, Liam. Hello, hello. Um, have we got anyone else in? I don't think we have. I don't think we have. Uh, okay, this dress. It is a jewels dress. It's a size 14. I haven't picked up jewels in ages. Um, jewels label, in case you don't know what it is. I picked this up for £5. Um, don't, it kind of feels a bit silky. Um, let's try and have a look. It is oh, 100% polyester. I oh, know that's the lining. 100% viscose. So yeah, it's not silk. Um, but again, floral V-neck, sort of pleated design at the front. Yeah, pretty standard. Five pound again, fifteen twenty, something like that. God. This dress is just not doing right for me. Sorry, <laughs> Ugh. it's not sitting right with me. Um, you're working and lurking, super duper. Uh, see how she bullies me like one type, of, yeah, because you did the same thing to me. Uh, is Jules any good then? Yes, Jules is pretty good. Um, again, it's one of them kind of brands that it is good, but don't just get anything with the name Jules on. Um, it's not, you know just does it look all right does it look decent basically andrew what how i think how you should see it with women's clothing if you saw a girl in that item would you date her would you try and get it on if yes because she's wearing this nice item of clothing then buy it you know I'm not suggesting that's you know that's the rule of thumb but you know gives you an idea andrew don't it um the next one i picked up was this roman dress again a bit more of a newer roman one the other one was a bit more of a vintagey kind of roman so that's the kind of the newer roman label now uh paid five pound for it but it is brand new with tags uh, originally ooh, originally 35 quid um it's got a nice big scribble on it but i thought it was absolutely lovely um ugh. Uh, it's got yeah this it's hot pink this lace design uh, and this uh, sort of the bow in the middle and then yeah just all the way down got a tag there as well like, like brand new five pound probably put it up for about 25 30 pound like it's brand new for 35 um but it's, yeah i mean glitter sunflowers are there love the color i love that like actually on youtube that is brighter and prettier than it is in my hand it's kind of a purpley pink um but that's so nice so yeah i'm gonna try and uh sell that <laughs> god oh dear so um who else have we got and i think we've just had laney and and also bron hello hello vintage vandal hello my first live here yes it must be because i haven't seen you in this chat before 
Um, there we go. Okay, how many people? We've got 41 people. What are you all? Well, I say, what are you doing up? Some people are from Australia, some people are from America. But those of you who are in the UK, what are you still doing up? It's Friday night. You should be going out partying or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm too old for that now. <laughs> Okay. Um, what is going on in the world? What have I got left? Oh, I think there's another dress downstairs. Um, I did buy another Roman dress, uh, brand new tags. I must have left it downstairs. Um, for again, I think that one was four pound and originally 45 pound i was having a look at them earlier um, but this dress i felt like it was my absolute bargain because this is it now this is like bags empty so um i spent a total of 35 pound 50 uh with all this so all them so two coats two one two three four can't count one two three four five six six dresses two coats uh all for 35 pound 50 bargain if you have any dresses size 16 or 18 send to andrew he's he has hasn't he yeah i think he needs to uh to uh try some on Well done, Leanne. You work. Ignore the partying. Um, I'm getting lost. Peter's there. <laughs> partying like I'm up in bed early for a jumble site. Like, exactly. That's what we do. That's what we do here. This is our party. <laughs> you have to go and do your hair and get your suit ready. Where are you going? Where are you going? What are you doing? kind of sorry i'm really half reading the chat i'm really bad at like chatting and reading because i feel like i'm just going to read out somebody's conversation that is completely irrelevant um i'm on hippo clothing advice from yeah from big time cloth seller i'm a cloth seller cloth okay anyway this i feel like i'm gonna stand up for this um Right, okay. Right. Woo. Makes it makes some room. <laughs> Ooh, this is good, isn't it? Get the cushion off. Okay, this um I think I think is a wedding dress. Um look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. Um initially like this this is the label. Look at this for a label. It just looked like initially I thought, nah, I don't think that's a good enough label, but I thought I'd do some research and yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. We did nearly have a fall. This is just a wobbly chair. And it's a spinny chair as well. Oh, God. Okay, so this is a wedding dress, I believe. My neighbours are singing. Um that's quality. Yeah, so this here, but it is absolutely absolutely ridiculously long still going <laughs> so the front of it looks like that and then there's like this like big train at the bottom um at the back i'd kind of i didn't try it on um but i sort of put it against me and uh it, the front of it hits the floor um is it sort of maybe i might have to wear heels i'm a bit short um, but then the back kind of trails off um so uh, yeah how pretty is that this was oh, originally i'm gonna stay here now because i'm stuck this was originally 20 pound then it went down to 10 pounds so i saw it on the uh shop floor for 10 pound um and then i said to the lady do you think she could drop it down to five and she did but that is because i pointed out there is a mark on here, quite a big mark, but there's a lot of material. 
there's a lot there's a lot of dress um <laughs> i can't find it Ooh. it's a pretty big there it is it's a pretty big mark so i can't can't miss it but there you go it's a pretty big mark um there you go that way it's a pretty big mark it's not like massively it's not damaged or anything but it's a bit of a stain on the dress which is a big shame um so i said to her you know could you drop it down because of that but obviously she would have dropped it down anyway because of it but oh they went oh should we just do it for five pound so she gave it to me for five quid so well she didn't give it to me she sold it to me you know that's how shops work um so i got it for five pound i'm miles away from the computer now i can't even i literally genuinely cannot see what you're all typing uh, I'm going to have to move closer again in a minute. But yeah, so I got this dress for £5 and the brand. Um, I could hopefully, if it all cleans up nice and well, um, I could probably get between one to £200 for this because it's a really good brand. Um, I'll try and show you the brand in a second. It's not so easy. Uh, but it is the Princess Collection. Mm -hmm. So... The temptation is really strong to try this on. I'm not going to do it right this second. Um, but it's a size 10. So it might not. Might squeeze into it, maybe. <laughs> it's just a lot of dress. Look at that. It's a lot of dress. And just hit yourself in the face with it. Um, so I don't know how much I'm going to list it, but I'm going to see if I can wash it first and clean everything up. Oh. Right, I'm really warm now. I've just like missed loads of chat. Loads and loads of chat. Oh dear. <sighs> okay, so let me just read through the chat. Yeah, it didn't there was no fall. Um, it's just it's genuinely just a wobbly chair. It's just a wobbly chair. Um, yeah, that is the other thing, isn't it? With uh, Streamyard, the things up here, isn't it? I could could have just read that. Um, the thing with Streamyard, you can't see who's your mod and whatever. So um, yeah, uh, don't change that dress. I think you. <laughs> Thanks, Adrian. <laughs> um it is a really long dress honestly like when i stand up it goes to my to my feet on the floor because obviously my feet are on the floor um and then, then um it's like an asymmetric hem so the front of it goes to the floor and then the back of it um obviously it's like a like a train but it, it's honestly so pretty oh yeah i said i was going to show you the brand um so I'm hoping this is going to focus. Oh, got a bit of thread hanging off. Let me just cut that thread while I see it. Otherwise, you know, I had somebody return something to me the other day, um, a pair of Farrah trousers, because they said to me that um, the piece of thread is hanging off um, of the label slightly. Um, so they don't think it's genuine because their other pair of Farrah trousers doesn't do that. It's not, it wasn't, it wasn't falling off. It was just, you know, when something gets stitched and then like the, the last little bit of the thread is just sticking up a little bit. It's literally all it was. And I had to pay return postage. I just couldn't be asked to deal with them. Um, so I don't know, is this going to be backwards? It's going to be backwards, isn't it? Oh man. Oh no, it's fine. That way. It is the Princess Collection by... I think it says Ronald Joyce. This is why I was trying to really struggle to show you because it's it's really not that clear on the camera because it's it's it, I struggled to read it myself. Um, focus on that. There we go. Printer's Collection by Ronald Joyce. Um, that is what it says. Trust me. Just yeah. Trust me. <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, let's go down because I'm way back like five minutes before um and yeah next door have been at still at, like there was a well oh, the other day it was just mad um people screaming and shouting neighbors having arguments at three o'clock in the morning um lasted till about six o'clock in the morning 
I've just got to come out to the gym. <laughs> um, yeah, it was, yeah, five pound. It was, uh, hi, Kez. Hello, hello. Do, 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 do. Let Andrew try it on. <laughs> I don't want Andrew to rip it. I'm sorry, but Andrew won't fit in it. Um, yes, you did. You didn't. I don't think you told everyone to go subscribe to me. I just think didn't you just say that we were in a competition together, and uh, and then people just were like, <laughs> I want Louise to win rather than. Uh, than you to win. Um, are my neighbours still twat? 100%. Um, I did just kind of explain that, but yeah, they. It, it's like my garden is like I've got neighbours over there, and then like there's like several houses going onto that, and then I've got like neighbours this way, um, neighbours this way. Um, so these neighbours had an argument with those neighbours. It all kicked off. <laughs> And uh, I've got actually I've got a little camera here, um, mainly just to see, make sure that nobody comes into our garden or anything like that. Um, but that kind of caught the whole thing, so it was quite interesting. Um, just trying to catch up with the chat. If you've got any questions, please do let me know. You probably you might know whether you've asked me any questions, and I'm just haven't got down there. Um, I think everyone's just slagging Andrew off, to be honest, which is pretty standard. Um, a double karma that would be amazing um i think um i was up to like 913 subscribers yesterday um and it was it was so lovely um i think people were like i'm gonna go make a separate account to try and get louise to beat her numbers up um but i think that some of those weren't verified or something or youtube kind of went what's going on here um and they kind of Sort of deleted those accounts or something because I've dropped 10 since yesterday. Um, I still was like up 25 subscribers yesterday, which was absolutely mad, which is brilliant. Thank you so much uh, for those of you who have uh, newly subscribed to me. Um, but there was like 10 or something more, and then they just kind of dropped off this morning. So I think YouTube was just like, well, what's going on here? And then got rid of them. So, um, but yeah. If I can beat Andrew, that'll be, that'll make my life, that will. <laughs> um, da, 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 da. I walked away from a really nice Thomas pink shirt today, crazy my opponent mark pen. You know what, I never, I saw these Thomas pink shirts, I just never knew what they were. Initially, um, my partner, he picked one up and he was like, I really like this shirt and he bought one for himself um i just didn't think they were worth it. i didn't know what they were i didn't know what kind of what um money they could make and then when i actually realized um yeah they're pretty good the bank they do some pretty good uh return on them but i've never seen one since weirdly enough don't go to posh areas enough <laughs> so it's 908 i am that was that was that was gone off it was 906 i think before i started the stream so get to another two way Have I sold any clothes to Italy? Uh, I have sold clothes to Italy, but I only uh, sell through GSP. Um, so that's that's all I need to worry about. Um, then if there's anybody in here, um, I've got 40 people. That is so mad. Thank you, everyone, for sticking by. Um, if nobody, if there's somebody in here that doesn't know what GSP is, um, it is basically with GSP, eBay allows you to send your parcel to their um it's like a fulfillment center sort of thing like their shipping center um they allow you to send it there just as like a normal uk postage so you send it there and then they um send it off then to the seller from that center um, which is based in Litchfield. um the seller pays the postage you just pay the postage to that place um so i've sold stuff to italy but using that so i've only ever had to um pay the two pound eighty whatever it is to send it to the center um to be able to be sent off from there so i've never had to uh do that i have actually looked at and thought about selling uh, my items with an actual um amount you know an actual 
I actually make up the prices, you know, and not do it through GSP because some GSP charges are just ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, so I have thought about it, but I just haven't got around to it at the moment. Oh, what a, what a, oh God, the weed went a lot. What? She tries to be fear, but you can see the fear in her eyes. I have no fear in my eyes, Andrew. No fear here. I've got a Thomas Pink shirt I got for two quid. Good for you. Good for you, Andrew. Go sell it then. Everyone on sub, on sub to Money Mental for a little while, please. BC will drop a link to help you find it. <laughs> Thanks, Vintage Vandal. Andrew, you might have mod powers, but I can remove them mod powers. I can remove them. They can be gone. You will have no mod powers. I can ban you. I can, I can mute you. Whatever it is, I can do something. <laughs> I could. I could if I could be bothered. Um, but yeah, anyway, if there's any other questions, please do ask away now. Um, I can't believe I've been chatting for 45 minutes. Um, so uh, yeah, if you've got any questions, do drop them in. If not, um, I'm going to start wrapping this up because I am tired very tired um i can't go to bed anytime soon really um but i do have a load of other stuff to be doing um actually now you know what i think i'll be we'll be going to bed shortly yes yeah, it's quarter to 12 <laughs> i think i'll be going to bed shortly um anyway i'm just <laughs> look at me rambling um uh Leanne D by G D D D by G. Yeah, whatever. Uh Leanne says GSP is not to know about anything on GSP. I think there's, there's you get a lot of issues, don't you, uh Leanne, with uh being in um <laughs> I wonder does like Italy and Australia. It's neither of them. You get a lot of issues being in Ireland, um, you know, because you're because you've got to sort of cross the sea. Um it's just I think there's a lot of issues in there through that way um just to be able to post something just across the water rather than like a completely different um part of the world is as such you know what i mean um yeah and it is it's just crazy i think i need i do need to work on my own separate postage uh, charges for international postage um i will do something about that uh, soon but again it's just another thing on my list you know, when you just kind of like think, I've got the hang of this, I'm, I'm doing really well with eBay or whatever. And then all of a sudden you realise you've got a million things to, to do with it. So uh, evening, love your bids. And I've started to buy my bids. I assume you mean bids, don't you? Love your bids and start to buy women's clothes as well. Funny looks from the assistants. Yeah, I get a lot of people talking to me about that um, to say, um, you know they, they've tried they've like seen my videos and the, they um felt that they want to go and buy some women's clothing and then they just sort of feel awkward buying women's clothing um i yeah i think like i felt like that initially not so much with buying women's clothing but i felt really awkward um checking sold listings on ebay or when i was doing amazon uh, sort of hunting amazon stuff in um charity shops and stuff like that i felt really awkward trying to scan stuff in and you know i just and then realized i thought i don't care if they just if they give me weird looks or chuck me out or whatever i'm just like i'll go somewhere else um at the end of the day if you know nothing's gonna nothing should hold you back from making the money that you can make on ebay um so you know if if, if you think if that's going to hold you back then there's something you just got to overcome um you know they can give you weird looks but you're like mate this is just gonna go make me 50 quid thank you very much um that's how i would see it anyway you do absolutely fine i'm sure you will um louise has got andrew by the nuts i've always had andrew by the nuts but not in that kind of way <laughs> oh i need to get to bed do you sell anything other than clothes on ebay mm, no not really um as i've tried i've sold a few plushies before um well so the sold 
not as I think I've sold anything else. Um, I have bought other stuff. I've bought like little Scrabble boards and stuff like that, like Travel Scrabble. I think that is on eBay at the moment, actually. Is it? No, I took that off. I used to have like a little Travel Scrabble, took that off. Um, we used to have like this A3 paper. Oh, this one right here. This A3 paper. This was uh, for sale on eBay. Um, but I've got an A3 printer myself and I actually quite like this paper, so I'm keeping it for myself. <laughs> um, so I don't actually sell anything other than clothes. Um, I know people who like to have a niche and I know people who like to sort of dabble in loads of stuff. Personally, I like to have a particular niche. I like to sell clothing. Uh, for me, that's mainly because um, everything sort of, my storage works for just one sort of thing. So all of my storage boxes. If you've seen my storage videos, um, talking about my garage storage that I've got, um, I've got like women's dresses, women's jumpers, women's jeans, etc. Then on the other side, I've got men's stuff like that. Um, so that that kind of that works for me. And same with postage. You know, all my clothes go into the little uh, mailer bags. If I sold anything bigger or anything like that, I'd have to like make sure I've got boxes and all that sort of stuff. And it's just oh, it's so frustrating. The only thing that requires boxes are my hats, um, but I've got little boxes for them anyway, so that's absolutely fine. Um, just sort of scrap boxes that um, I'm just kind of recycled from um, things that I've bought from Amazon and whatever. So they're just kind of boxes that have just been flat packed. So I've got enough of them for my hats, but I, just don't, I don't like trying to store these sort of more bulkier items and things like that. So I just, clothes works for me. I've tried uh, dabbling in a few other stuff, but as I close, just works for me. Any plans for the weekend? Um, no, I don't think so. Um, those of you who follow me on Instagram, the past like two, three weeks, I've been like out camping and walking and stuff like that. I absolutely love camping. Um, I've been, I think I've been twice this month. Um, but it's so much fun because it's like you're on holiday, but it's like cost you ten pound for a, for a camp site pitch up thing. You know, it's just great. It's so so great. Um, so no, I don't think I have anything planned for the weekend. I think I'm doing some photography tomorrow for eBay. And then just a rest day on Sunday, I think, maybe. Um, Andrew, you're going live after this. Um, but you'll have to be subscribed to me. You don't have to be subscribed to Andrew to see it. You could just type his name in, watch it, and then, you know, don't subscribe to him. Or you could subscribe to him to be able to get notified. And then I'm subscribed once you finish watching it. You could just do that. Uh, I think our car boot will be rained off this weekend. Yeah, I think a lot of car boots, like this rain is just horrible lately. Um, Louise, is it true you've invented an Andrew repellent spray? I have indeed. And um, it is called Raid uh, Fly and Wasp Killer. That is uh, that is the original formula. Um, so I'm rebranding it and calling it the Andrew repellent spray. Uh, it will be available to buy soon. Um, it is just needs to be confirmed by eBay that I'm allowed to sell it. And it will be on eBay in the meantime. Uh, you'll have to wait. And uh, and I will let you know when that is ready to be released. Um, any more camping trips planned? No. Um, we kind of just do it off the fly. We just kind of just do it whenever we feel like it. We're like, oh, I've got a free weekend this weekend. Let's go camping. Um, hello. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Hasselberry. I'm just going for Hasselberry. <laughs> hello, hello. Um, let's have a look. Uh, them cheeky boots listed at 120 pound. That's awesome. Is that those um, rock boots? Is it rock boots? Rock boots. Not rock boots, are they? I can't think what they're called. Are they rock? I can't know what they're called now. They are something like that, aren't they? Big chunky boots. But yeah, definitely. Um, new rock boots, aren't they? Is that what they are? But yeah, um, definitely, definitely good pick up there. No, let me know. Keep me updated with them. Uh, someone paid £18 postage for GSP to send a £3 instruction manual. Oh, I think that's the thing, you know. So if some people are desperate for it, they'll pay up for the uh, GSP. But I just think I could get a lot more for my item I could, I could sell a lot more items if i have some decent postage um mm, 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 mm. oh thank you very much vintage vandal uh someone's they're saying uh, if you're new here please subscribe to me thank you landshark picker hello 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 
I used to sell vintage lighters but quick because Royal May used to destroy them if shipped overseas even though there was no light food in them that's horrible that's tough I think like especially when you're thinking I mean what happened with that you know because obviously you would have had to refund the buyer but then are you you don't know whether you could claim from Royal Mail could you or you, you've just got to be out of pocket that's, that's oh that's horrible um Going, I'm just going to buy the paper. I, it's not on eBay anymore. I took it off. <laughs> I took it off. It's mine now. Um, look, mum, and hus look, mum, I'm hustling. I saw you yesterday. Hello, um, Tracy sent you here. Thank you very much for joining me this evening, or morning, or afternoon, wherever you are, <laughs> whatever it is. Uh, did I convert my garage on my own? Um, not quite. Uh, my boyfriend Chris he helped me um, get rid of it all and lay the carpet down um, we had carpet tiles so we both sort of uh, lay the carpet down um, and then I put I after that after it was emptied and put the carpet down I did the rest after that putting all the boxes in labeling them all up building my desk and the cupboards and stuff like that so um but yeah, I didn't get anyone to come in and do it. The shelving that's in there, that was already in the garage, so I didn't build that or do anything like that. That was already in there. So, um, yeah, there is there is plenty of good storage out there, um, storage shelves and stuff like that. But this was already in there, so I'm just kind of using it. And I bought boxes to be able to fit them shelves because um, they're pretty pretty uh, sturdy. Um, as your YouTube communications manager, <laughs> if you get to a 1,000 before me, I've still won. I don't think so. I don't think so. Camping is not horrendous. A pizza a pair of Todd's suede loafers for three fifty yesterday. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. How much are you going to list them for? Yeah, camping is not horrendous. Not at all. Um, camping is great unless it rains all week. Even, you know what? Even in the rain, I mean, it it's pretty. It 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 does suck when it's raining because um, we love. We only go to campsites that allow campfires. Um, so we, we build a campfire and we sit down by the campfire. We cook our food on the campfire and, you know, sit around. It's so, so nice. And especially when you've got a nice, peaceful campsite. Um, the last one that we were at, I don't know whether those of you who are on my Instagram saw it. Um, we were pitched up right next to a river. So we had the river in the background and the campfire. It was just, it was just beautiful. Um, and, uh, and then, but... When it rains, it is it does suck. But if you've got enough planned, then you know you can still. There's still plenty to do in a tent, you know, without without being wrong. Uh, you know, you, there's still games you can play. There is still you, you can sleep. You know, that's kind of we ended up just. I think we just went out. I think I don't think we stayed in the tent. We just kind of went out, went for food somewhere, and then and then it, then. It's, time to go to sleep because it's late so and then because i listen to rain noises uh with my amazon um with my amazon echo i do actually have a google home which i need to set up um, i'm changing it to a google home um I'm fed up of that because it doesn't listen to me properly um and uh yeah i listen to rain sounds to get me to sleep sometimes if i really can't sleep um so going camping and hearing the rain hitting the tent is just just beautiful just beautiful um where do you buy it? You buy it on uh, eBay Aid. I'll uh, I'll put a link to uh, to it. once it's all up on eBay and all set up, then I'll uh, um I'll let you know what's going on with that. <laughs> God, I've just there we go, there we go. I'm back down the bottom of the chat now. Question: Are the carpet tiles any good? I need to get carpet tiles from the office. I was going to get some off cuts. Um, the carpet tiles we had left over from um, just just left over from from laying down carpet. Funnily enough, we had some left over. So my the carpet in the garage is half of it's black and half of it's grey uh, because it was two different times that we um, do two two different rooms that we had to put carpet tiles down two different colours. And they were just spares that we had. So um, half of it's grey and half of it's black um and they're all right for the garage it's fine because they they they're sort of very 
good wearing, good wearing. Don't know if that's the right word. Um, they're pretty good. Um, hard wearing, I think that is the word. Is that the phrase even. Um, they're pretty hard wearing. So um, for the garage, it's quite good. And if the um, if the rain sort of comes in. Oh, I've got to go. No problem. Sorry, being rude. Um, yeah, if the rain comes in and sort of wets the carpet a little bit, it sort of comes into the garage a little bit, it's not going to be too bad because it's not like an actual proper carpet carpet. Um, I told you to get an Amazon Alexa. I don't think I did. I think you probably just watched my videos, Andrew, and just went, oh, I want to be as amazing as her. I'm going to get one. And also you got the little mini one, didn't you? Uh, I am at the bottom of the chat. I am, I am. I'm, 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 I've scrolled to the bottom of the chat. I'm still at the top of the bottom of the chat, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, hard wearing. Chat is full of innuendo. It's not from me. Yeah. Um, how the tie sales? Tie sales, uh, they're all right. I've sold one a couple of days ago. They're just kind of, they're about as often as I sell, um, I don't know what, a pair of jeans maybe. Like, I don't know. Dresses my, is my most common thing that I sell, um, mainly because I've got a lot of dresses on there. Um, but I do uh, sell a tie every once in a while. They're pretty good. They are pretty good. Um, it's not too bad. Anyway, um, I will have to go. Andrew, I'll reply to your message later. I did, I did answer your question. Um, but, you know, just don't listen. Don't listen to me. It's fine. Absolutely fine, Andrew, you know whatever <laughs> i need to go to bed right i am going now uh, i've been waffling for over an hour um and uh i need to go to bed so yeah thank you very much for everyone sticking by for an hour um, i can't believe i rambled for an hour i do apologize <laughs> um so and also yeah again thank you very much for all those new subscribers that joined uh yesterday uh thanks to tracy um really appreciate that and uh yeah, thank you very much, and hopefully I will see you soon on a video, which hopefully will be out soon-ish, maybe. Thank you very much. Have a good evening, guys. Goodbye.